I'm here this afternoon with a warning. Tropical Storm Michael still packs a deadly punch of punishing wind and rain, and it's still sweeping across our state. This storm has now claimed a life in North Carolina. One person was killed when a tree fell on his car in Iredell County. We mourn for his family and friends, and we know, I know that we grow weary of the wind, the rain, and the floods, but we must remain cautious and alert. We want to prevent tragedy and save lives. While the storm winds down in the west, central and eastern North Carolina, including the triad and the triangle, have several more hours of heavy wind and rain to go. Now as night falls, please don't go out unless you have to. Falling trees and rising waters along with landslides in our mountains are making travel difficult and even life-threatening in some areas. And if you must go out, don't drive on flooded roads or around barricades. State troopers have already responded to hundreds of crashes from the storm, and over 100 roads are closed. Flooding remains a serious threat. Heavy rains up to seven inches in some areas are causing creeks and rivers to swell and flood, especially the Catawba, Rocky, Haw, and Tar Rivers. We're also seeing flash flooding in some cities like Charlotte, Raleigh, and Chapel Hill. Dozens of swift water rescues and evacuations have taken place today in Guilford, Forsyth, Iredale, Henderson, Burke, and other counties. I'm grateful to all the first responders who are stepping up yet again. High winds up to 60 miles an hour are bringing down trees and power lines and currently nearly 400,000 households in the state are without power. Most of North Carolina is still under a tropical storm warning and a flash flood watch. And some eastern North Carolina counties remain under a tornado watch. Pay close attention to the warnings in your area and act quickly if you're asked to take cover or evacuate. North Carolina has had a seasoned emergency response team and they're remaining on the job, working closely with local and federal officials. So here with an update is Emergency Management Director Mike Sprayberry. Mike. Thank you, Governor. Good afternoon, everyone. The State Emergency Operations Center remains activated at a level three for Tropical Storm Michael response operations. Key federal, state, and volunteer agencies, as well as members of our private sector, are here at the State EOC coordinating the response to the impacts for Tropical Storm Michael. As noted by the governor, search and rescue teams are busy in the western and central portions of our state. Our National Guard, State Highway Patrol, and DOT partners have also been working hard to keep the public safe. We also thank our utilities for their work to minimize power outages. Michael remains a dangerous storm, as the governor said, and is causing power outages, downed trees, flash floods, can cause tornadoes, landslides, and riverine flooding. Please stay off the roads if you can. Again, we urge that you use the NCEM Flood Inundation Mapping and Alert Network, known as FIMAN, to ensure you're aware of potential flooding in your area. You can reach that network by logging in to FIMAN.NC.gov. That's FIMAN.NC.gov. On that website, you can sign up to be alerted by text or email whenever rivers or streams begin to rise near you. And always follow the instructions of your local officials regarding evacuations or anything else. Stay tuned to your local media for situational awareness. And thank you for your outstanding support of the North Carolina State Emergency Response Team. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Mike. We'll now get a report on our roads from Secretary of Transportation, Jim Trockton. 
Thank you, Governor. Um, DOT has uh, our crews that were responding to Hurricane Florence, and all 100 counties are now uh, focused on what we also have to do to respond to Tropical Storm uh, Michael. Uh, and that's uh, 2,100 employees, uh, 1,200 uh, trucks, another 150 loaders, 200 backhoes, so plenty of equipment to respond to the event that we had before as we're making repairs and now focused on um, Tropical Storm Matthew. We did have 75 roads still closed from Florence. Uh, this morning at 10 o'clock, we had 16 roads closed from Matt Michael, and now we're focused on uh, that number has grown rapidly to 119, so nine primary roads just from Tropical Storm Michael. 46 of those are clustered in the uh, Boone area, Boone, Blowing Rock, Watauga County, so a, a large percentage of the 119 we have are just in that region alone. We anticipate that the conditions will change rapidly as the storm is moving from western part of the state to central to northeast, uh, and we believe over the next 12 hours we'll see those same kinds of conditions impacting travel uh, between the, the triad, the triangle, uh, areas as well. So we're monitoring uh, mobility closely, anticipate those conditions will change rapidly as this storm progresses east and north. And so we recommend everyone go to drivenc.gov for the latest travel conditions if you have to travel. Thanks, Jim. We'll now hear from First Sergeant Michael Baker from the North Carolina Highway Patrol. Thank you, Governor. The State Highway Patrol has been working very diligently with our local, state, and federal partners to ensure we answer any calls for assistance as they become to us. Troopers are positioned around the state, uh, ready to respond at a moment's notice to those areas heavily impacted by the storm. Heavy rainfall continues to pound the western and Piedmont portions of our state, which has resorted in flash flooding, causing roadway conditions to worsen uh, throughout the day. Roadways in low-lying areas prone to flooding uh, will continue to make travel very treacherous. Uh, State Highway Patrol, since midnight today, uh, throughout 4 p.m. today, this afternoon, has responded to 450 collisions and approximately 780 calls for service, and that number continues to climb. Motorists are encouraged to be cognizant of downed trees and power lines in the affected areas overnight. Motorists are also cautioned to avoid driving around barricaded roadways, and I cannot stress this enough. Please do not drive around barricaded roadways or through floodwaters. I would ask that motorists continue to monitor your local media stations and drivenc.gov for up-to-date roadway conditions. Please do not call 911 or Star HP unless it's an emergency. Thank you. We're grateful to Lee Williamson for providing American Sign Language interpretation for us. I know that North Carolinians have been through a tough time, but we'll get through this. And tomorrow when the skies clear and the winds die down, we can get back to the job of rebuilding and recovery in our state. But tonight, I urge people to hunker down and stay safe until Michael blows through. We'll take your questions if anybody has any. Thank you. We heard of at least one situation today, I believe, in the West where a school district had been opened and then they decided to pull back and decided uh, to send kids home. Was, was there a concern that people weren't paying close enough attention to this storm, particularly in the West, did it, does it, did it surprise emergency officials that the mountains took such a hit? I'm not aware if uh, there was any surprise in that particular situation. Mike, do you have a comment on that? So as, if you track to the forecast path, it did shift to the north and to the west some, but I would say that um, all of the emergency managers in the West were closely tracking it from, you know, the time it made landfall in Florida. So I've got to say that there, I don't think that anybody was surprised. Everybody was tracking it very closely. And while I have this, I might as well ask my other question. Uh, Senator Terry Trogdon, uh, the 119 you mentioned, is that new roads that are affected? 
That's okay. correct. That's 119. Well, that's 119 in addition to the 16 that, that was. So the 16 is in there, but we're up to 119 as of uh, 3 o'clock this afternoon. I'm sorry, that's separate. From and the that 75. is separate than the 75 that were already closed due to Florence. Okay, thank you. Other questions? All right, if not, I think we will see you in the morning at 1030. Stay safe tonight, everyone. Thank you.